Hey guys, this is Brian Bennett for CNET.com and we're at Nokia's launch event in New York for the new Nokia Lumia 1020. This basically follows up the 920 and it runs Windows Phone 8, Microsoft's operating system. It has pretty much the same uh, basic specs on the inside as the 920. Uh, so you have a very large LCD screen um, and the same sort of uh, polycarbonate uh, coating. But on the back you have a, a 41 megapixel um, camera from Nokia, which is extremely powerful. It has a uh, Xenon flash, and uh, that's something you only find in um, you know, point-and-shoot cameras, things like that. Um, and it basically can do something called over-sampling, which essentially uh, takes a ton of information at once and packs it into um, your photo so you can zoom in extremely tightly um, and uh, you know, share that and see a lot of details that you would have missed in another uh, more standard uh, photograph. As you can tell, uh, it's running a Windows 8 operating system, have the same menu features here, um, it's running a lot of apps. Uh, some of the things that uh, they say that they've been talking about today uh, has been the, uh, the Nokia camera app, which offers lots of ways to adjust the um, exposure settings and a lot of the other uh, camera features just by sliding uh, a little display uh, on the screen. As you can see, you can, you can pull this out and get this really funky um, sliding um, interface here. You can adjust the ISO by going like this. You can, you can change all sorts of features here just by using this interface on the touchscreen, which is pretty nice. You do actually have a choice of accessories that you can get with the Lumia 1020. One of them is a camera grip, which will actually attach to the back covered screen, I believe, stick on the back and uh, add extra battery capacity as well as a grip so you can hold the camera uh, better while you're taking photos. You can also get a, uh, a backing that will actually add wireless charging to the device. It's not actually built into the phone itself, but you can uh, add that after the fact. It does, I uh, believe, make the phone a little bit thicker, so that's something you might want to think about before you uh, go that route. Another feature that Nokia is talking about is their uh, uh, new updates to the map uh, software. And there's a feature here that they call, uh, which enables you to look at an all augmented uh, reality view of the places and items you search for. So here we are, we're doing a little search for the subways around us. You can see we're looking through the camera and we see a little radar of, that turns as you tilt the device and it shows um, items of interest and how close they are to you. Um, you can see you know, the results that are nearby all in all, it's a pretty interesting way to sort of get augmented reality into your search. And that is the Nokia Maps feature. We're going to just take a little twirl here just to see what it's all about. It's a little bit thinner than the, uh, the first uh, 920, the original 920 device, so that's pretty nice. Uh, there you have it, folks. We just took a first look at Nokia's brand new Lumia 1020. I'm Brian Bennett for CNET.com.